How does the volume of a pyramid relate to its height and the area at its base? Let's do some investigating. We can consider some of the old stepping pyramids, which should be a bit easier. The idea is that each step of the pyramid will be a square slab with uniformly decreasing side length. Let's suppose that we have a pyramid that's 10 units across the base. The question is, what will be the relative step sizes if we go upwards five times to reach the apex? Well, look from the side. We can see that these are actually similar triangles, which means that the length of the base will reduce proportionally to the decrease in height. If the pyramid started off at five units high, the ratio will be five to 10 here, or one to two for each step. So when the height is now four, the step size will be eight. The next step will be a square slab with six as its length. The step after that will be four and so on. This gives us a volume of 10 squared plus eight squared plus six squared plus four squared plus two squared, which all up gives us 220. And if we look at this as a ratio of what an equivalent polyhedron with a square that were 10 by 10 and a height were five or 500 units in volume is, then we get this 220 over 500 or 0.44 as the ratio of this pyramid's volume to the polyhedron volume. And now let's increase the number of steps. So if we double the number of steps, we'll have 10 squared plus nine squared plus eight squared plus seven squared plus six squared plus five squared, etc., until we get to one squared. And now we'll need to divide by two, since for these slabs, they'll only be half a unit high. And so in this case, we get 192.5 as our volume. And now if we compare this to the relative slab size, we'll get 192.5 over 500 equals 0 0.385. And now if we continue in this fashion, decreasing the step sizes so that we'll have more and more slabs and they'll look more and more like a real pyramid, the ratio of the volume of these pyramids to the volume of a corresponding polyhedron with the same base and same height will get closer and closer to a third. So whether it's a pyramid, a cone, or some similar shape, as long as its cross-sectional area is decreasing at the same rate, then its volume will be a third times the base area times height.